Hi, this is Andy Tabak, course, going to do a little walk around video of this uh, 78 Dodge Power Wagon that I'm selling. Uh, this is a vehicle that I purchased from a guy in Grinnell, Iowa in 2022. Uh, he had done quite a lot of work on it mechanically and, uh, and some body work. He had bought it from the head mechanic at American Dream Machines in Des Moines, which is a kind of a high-end classic vehicle uh, retailer, but uh, he painted it this satin black color, which is actually a stock John Deere paint color, and uh, I love the look of it. But we'll just walk around a little bit. I want to first of all talk a little bit about the body, and uh, it's pretty straight for the most part. You know, it's not perfect by any means. There's a few little dents and ripples in the hood, but nothing serious. And, uh, and it's in good shape. Sorry about the the mess. It just rained last night a little bit, but that's all right. Um, new tires put on it in 2022 when I bought it. Uh, they are, I'm just looking at them, Wild Peak. Uh, I believe they're 32 by 1150s. Uh, hardly any miles on them since I put it on. I don't drive the truck a lot. Uh, while I'm down here, we'll look at the wheel well a little bit. It does need an undercoating probably, but uh, again, it hasn't gotten a lot of use since I, uh, since I bought the vehicle, so still in pretty good shape. Um, another good side shot of the passenger side. There is a little bit of rust, it looks like in the rocker panel on the passenger side here. And you can also see there's a little bit of a leak. That is the the uh, pan for the transmission. Uh, the mechanic told me there's a dent in it, so it probably needs to be replaced. Not a serious leak. That's been accumulating for several weeks, what you're seeing underneath it there. But uh, something to know. The bed's in real good shape. Uh, it's got a nice wooden bed floor. Those are all nice oak boards in there that the previous owner put on. Shot of the rear quarter. I named the truck Baxter because the day that I bought it, we stopped in Baxter, Iowa with it. Had a slice of pie at our charming little cafe and <laughs> just the name stuck. Rocker panels on the driver's side are pretty solid. I was told that one of the cab corners has some rust. Uh, it doesn't look like it's that one. Let's go around to the other side and take a look. This, again, my mechanic, when he was under it, mentioned it to me. Sure what he was seeing but just know that that's something he brought up so let's see pop the hood here all the glass is good it's in good shape rear slider works well put the phone down while I while I pop this up hold on got a 360 V8 in it. Uh, I think it's the original motor, but I don't know for sure. It's in good shape. Uh, runs great. Just put a new alternator on it just recently. Also installed a new uh, carb, Edelbrock carb on it. Uh, starts and runs really well. Redid the brakes recently. And uh, yeah, no air conditioner and a couple little minor electrical things. The heater fan doesn't run right now. The, uh, oh, the fuel gauge isn't working right. And uh, like the cigarette lighter, that kind of stuff. Minor stuff, minor electrical. I'm not an electrical guy or a mechanic for that matter, but 
Uh, I haven't tried to fix it. Take a look at the interior. I've been told that this is not the original seat. It's called a buddy seat. Uh, there are there are covers on the seats, but you know it's got this armrest in the middle with with some storage underneath. Um, previous owner put in a new headliner. It's nice and clean. Looks good. He also again excuse the mess, but uh, put in new carpet. Floors are solid. Um, nice dash cap. Really in good shape. And uh, I'll pause the video and, and start it up and then you can hear it running.